All right, let's let's look through the like top things, you know, because last time we did some fun stuff, um, but this time we can do even more fun stuff. Try to build a steam engine. Oh, that's a cool idea. Never mind. Yeah. No, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. All right. Let's build a steam engine. All right, we do want that. And you know what, let's do both, because why not? All right. Let's see if we can build a steam engine. All right. So we're gonna have a basin, right? And we will fill it with coal. I think this makes sense so far. Basin full of coal, as long as it can't melt the tungsten, it's fine. And then we're gonna let the smoke come out. So that's important so that it doesn't like gain too much pressure. So our exhaust will come out the left here, right? So there is our coal exhaust. Then we should probably have an air intake as well. So here's our air intake. Right, and there's no real way to force the uh, air to come in this way and the exhaust to come out that way, but I can try to do this to kind of make it happen. All right, and then the heat. will go into water, which is here, and then that water will be boiled and we will use that to create electricity. So let's just do this as kind of a test run. The steam will come out there. All right, I think that actually looks really good, um, but there's no way of knowing if that'll actually work or if it'll just melt itself into oblivion because I tend to melt things into oblivion. But I think this looks, this looks better than my nuclear reactors. Um, all right, so let us begin. So uh, as expected, it is burning. Um, the steam is, or the, not steam, um, the smoke is coming mostly out of the left like we wanted. We already have an issue, it's not really, well, I guess it'll come out when it has to. All right, but it seems to be working. We definitely are getting a good amount of steam because we want it to come out here and then we want how are we gonna do that we don't want the steam to come up here we want liquid water so we're gonna make it very challenging for steam to go up something like that because water will have a really easy time falling through that but steam will have a very tough time getting through that so this tube we're going to redirect. And we're gonna make it come down to here. Where hopefully it's going to cool down and condense back into water. All right, the loop is complete. And Oh, this up here is gonna get super hot too because it's all in the same ch- Oh, well. It'll still be colder on the other end. Okay, so that turns into steam. It comes up here, it goes back into water, and then it falls back down to continue the cycle. It looks like that is working to me. I mean, probably a little bit overcomplicated it but I think that is functionally working. I want an extra power version. So the extra power version would actually be pretty simple to accomplish. Uh, we can remove the coal inserter and we can actually substitute it for gasoline. Um, <laughs> gasoline burns really quickly, so we'll have to introduce it to the exact center. Um, where is our... Uh, no, we want gas. Uh, oil? We'll just throw straight oil into it. There we go. <laughs> like I said, that may just burn too fast, honestly. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is just gonna... Yeah. Honestly, the coal worked better. Um, all this is doing is damaging the tungsten. Hmm. Uh, I feel like I feel like this could be better designed still. Um, th this is a good starting point. I mean, people have made insane stuff. If you just search up engine on here, it's it's nothing I'm going to actually be capable of making. But like realistic engine, let's see. Like th this just is not going to come out of my brain within a reasonable amount of time for a stream. And it looks good, which is, like, much cooler. But look at that! I'm happy with that. And then it... falls back down. Alright. I mean... <laughs> it is not actually getting the directional thing, uh, which we really want. So let's see if we can get some help from that fan. I mean... Can't hurt to try. Alright, let's see. We draw a big ol' fan. Fan, use line tool. Alright. We put a big ol' fan here. And we make it pull this way. Really hard. Okay, actually... That seems to be doing something. I think I may have made it a little bit too intense. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be going in the right direction, though. That's the thing. Like, what the heck? <laughs> uh, I mean, at least we have, like, really beautiful exhaust here. Look at that. How great. Why is the crusher... <laughs> I mean, uh, we could have chosen to put the radiator somewhere else, but I didn't really care. So what? Oh! 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 Oh my god! Hey! Oh my god, look at that! <laughs> it... It works! It actually works. And not even, like, awfully. There is a... Okay, let's add more water. Hopefully I don't break it. Uh, wow! That is, uh... That is... That is definitely making a... Rotational force there. Um... It is turning to steam and getting put back as water to turn back into steam. Fantastic! Oh, I'm very happy with that. Alright! I want the sport version. Yeah, about that. Okay, so there's a way, there's a turbine that you can have pushed, right? Okay, no matter. No matter, what do you mean more heat? It's freaking out down there. All right, now that this is going through this, we should be getting an electric charge. Come on. Come on, electric charge. Yo! Oh my God, do you see that? Oh my God. We're actually generating electricity. <laughs> oh, yes! We're actually doing it! Okay, more heat. Alright, uh, I, I know you guys want more heat, so we will add more heat, but I'm just saying this is probably not going to make it work better. This will likely make it work worse. So this would be the intake. So you, you can definitely see once the heat from the coal hits this turbo... Now this is the equivalent of your engine shooting out, literally shooting flames out of it. We have a Lamborghini now. <laughs> um, 
Very, very nice. Look at, look at the... God, that exhaust just works so well, and I don't know why compared to this one. If I do this... Oh my god, I did not mean to be quite that... Man. Man, we want to do that. There we go. There we go. That actually is working really well. I'm I'm kind of surprised how all this is working, considering I just like made it eight times hotter than I was ever planning on. Um, what the heck? All right, one second. Okay. So. Final design change today before I leave you guys. I know, terrible, terrible spike abandoning his fans. Boom. Come on. Yes! Oh, both sides are working now. Beautiful. All right. I am very happy with that. Look at the efficiency of this bad boy. It is, uh... It is definitely doing well. So, as requested, I will try making it a nuclear engine momentarily. Um, before leaving, because that's what you guys want. The Sport version does seem to be working, though. Um, this is this is certainly creating a lot of energy in the oxygen being pumped in is certainly helping so nuclear addition is going to be challenging to control um i'm going to try my best to make it actually work what is that just burning coal all right fantastic all right to make this work, we are going to need several layers of just absolute... <laughs> okay, uh, we'll put a layer of tungsten for heat resistance. Ignore the coal at the bottom. Okay, layer of tungsten for heat resistance. A layer of insulation on top of that tungsten. A layer of ceramic, which gets stronger under pressure. And that ceramic is going to cover literally everything for obvious reasons. Okay. Oh, that instantly broke the tungsten. That's sad. Anyways, it's time. Alright. We'll use deuterium. Um, I feel like it's better for this sort of thing. Oh, okay, well, uh, impressively, the entire engine was not instantly destroyed. I am actually really impressed that the ceramic made it through it that well. Um, okay. Less deuterium, I think we could have made work. Oh! Oh! Hey! Would you look at that? Slight damage to the engine, and obviously radiation. But... It did actually kind of function. Finally, let's see how it does with our good friend Plutonium. Oh, jeez! Wow! It's really making some steam there! Huh. I wonder why. <laughs> There's no doing it with plutonium. It's just not gonna work, alright? Okay. Get your dreams elsewhere. <laughs> uh. 
I mean, it it's pretty good. We could try a plasma engine. No, no, plasma, plasma is not very easy to contain, is it? Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll try a more controlled plasma engine. All right. It is venting the plasma very slowly, which is all right. Uh, spark. Oh, actually, just repeatedly sparking the plasma engine. It's not breaking it. <laughs> um. Well, that's that is that is interesting. Did we just build an effective plasma engine? What? That wasn't even intended! Uh... One moment... <laughs> I... What? I can make it power itself! One moment, if we bring this spark... How would I get it there? That'd be a little bit challenging to do one in it. Uh, we'd have to use uh, an electrically conductive wall that lets everything through. There we go. I think that'll allow the... Yes! Alright. And then, finally, we bring this. And we spark the plasma with it. But we do need to have some non-conductive stuff here. So that'll be the sparker. We'll hit there. And then just surround this with ceramic. Oh my god! No! Oh! Oh, it got a little bit too much. Okay, so the important thing is that we don't allow... Oh, there was already serious damage. I didn't even notice. Ah, uh... Alright. We'll build a plasma engine next time, alright? We'll build a plasma engine next time. So you guys can be excited for that. Um, for now, we will just admit that we did pretty well. I mean, considering, uh, I like the engine design. I think it can be improved upon, but for now, we will live with that. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, what are you even doing with your life at this point? I built a plasma engine, and what did you do? You watched the video. Come on. Come on. You can do better by subscribing or becoming a channel member because channel members get access to the full streams. Everyone else doesn't, losers. <laughs> Unless you're on the Discord, I mean. But see you all next time. Bye!